Hello, this is Robert Berry, registered clinical exercise physiologist with Henry Ford Hospital Preventive Cardiology, and we're talking about anatomy, part one. This is the second session of our series, and we're discussing angina and heart attack. A heart attack is cardiac tissue death caused by lack of blood flow to the heart muscle. The flow of blood has often become blocked by a clot that is formed in a narrowed part of the blood vessel. Angina is discomfort caused by the heart muscle not getting all of the oxygen it needs. Unlike a heart attack, there is no cardiac tissue death during an episode of angina, but it is still a serious warning sign that the blood flow to your heart may be inadequate. Angina usually occurs when the heart's demand for oxygen is higher than normal, like during exercise, yard work, snow shoveling, or even if a person becomes very upset or angry. Narrowed blood vessels may not be able to deliver blood quickly enough to satisfy this increased demand. This can result in low oxygen levels in the heart tissue or ischemia. Take a moment to review the difference between angina and a heart attack. A heart attack is always a serious medical emergency. If you think you're having a heart attack, call 911 immediately. Any chest discomfort lasting more than five minutes could potentially be angina. Typical symptoms include heaviness, tightness in the chest, pain going down one arm or both, burning or tightness in the throat, or jaw discomfort. Women's symptoms tend to be more vague than those of men and may include upper back discomfort. People with diabetes sometimes have nerve damage or neuropathy that can prevent them from feeling or recognizing these symptoms. This concludes our session on angina and heart attack. Thanks for your attention.